Residents from across the Tallahassee community are preparing for a town hall meeting. Yeah, really going to be talking about a lot of the issues and, and the focal points that have come up after the verdict in the George Zimmerman trial. Our Brittany Jones is live for us now from the Palmer Monroe Teen Center in Tallahassee, where that meeting is going to be getting underway in, in about an hour. And, and Brittany, exactly how are these discussions going to be shaped tonight? Well, Greg and Mika, this is an opportunity for people in this community and city leaders to be able to talk about some of those issues on how to basically have an impact on what the self-defense laws are in Florida. Now, joining me right now to talk about Sandra Ground Law that's been front and center since the Georgia Men verdict is Assistant State Attorney Jack Campbell. And Jack, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Um, maybe tell us about, you know, how it is the impact of um, prosecuting these Sandra Ground cases. Well, we've been dealing with self-defense laws for our whole career. Those have been in existence since the beginning of law and there's nothing wrong with self-defense. What we have a problem is is that the way that the courts have interpreted and some of the statutes are is that self-defense is being misused by criminals and that's where we are having killing without consequence. We can't have a community and we have it day after day here in this Leon County where we have shootouts and nobody committed a crime and that's unacceptable. We have to have a, a basic understanding that human life has value when we can, need to defend ourselves. Absolutely defend your Yourself. But at the same time, we don't want drug dealers and gang fighters and those who would be uh, just going out and trying to hurt each other for the sake of hurting each other to be able to do so with impunity. We can't have burials of these children out in their streets without consequence. And the state's position is, is that it's been able to be abused. The defense bar has been able to take some of these laws that were set up to do, try to protect law-abiding citizens and twist them and torque them and end up with absurd results where you have cases where 15-year-old Michael Jackson is shot in the head during a gang fight and yet nobody committed a crime. That's just unacceptable and that's something that we at the state attorney's office continue to fight against. And is it difficult now prosecuting more and more of those cases since this law passed in 2005? Well, once again, when we expand that type of uh, self-defense to include those who aren't really acting in self-defense, when we have somebody who it's so subjective to just say, hey, I was scared, and because of that, I am now statutorily immune, and there's no requirement of them showing any type of good judgment, any type of restraint whatsoever. When I can sit here and get in an argument with you tonight, and you and I can both pull out guns and start shooting at each other and kill every kid in this youth center, and yet neither one of us have committed a crime because we were both standing our ground, that's an absurd result, and that's something that we as as the leaders of this community have to stand up against and try to make sure that we're protecting because there are people out in their community who will get involved in these criminal acts and the truth is it's going to end up with these continued having these innocent bystanders injured and killed and it's going to be under the, the guise of self-defense when it's really just people being criminals. All right. Well, thank you so much, Attorney, for joining us today. Glad to do it. And of course, we'll have more information coming out of this meeting tonight. It starts at six, and you're encouraged to come. Anybody in the community is encouraged to come. For now, I'm live from the Palmer Center. Brittany Jones, WTXL, ABC 27, dedicated to you. All right, Brittany. Thank you. We're going to.